76-year Senate veteran Thad Cochran is so embracing his Senate seniority, he flew in a famous establishment Republican, John McCain, to help close the deal with Mississippi voters. To send Thad Cochran, a good and decent and honorable servant, back to the United States Senate. Cochran's conservative opponent, Chris McDaniel, got more votes in the June 3rd GOP primary, but not the 50 percent needed to win, sparking a three-week runoff. Tea Party groups already invested in McDaniel as their best hope of defeating a Senate GOP incumbent redoubled efforts. The conservative resurgence for this country starts right here in Mississippi. Nervous traditional Republicans from around the country trying to beat back the Tea Party are here too. The Chamber of Commerce airing a Hail Mary TV ad with former star quarterback and Mississippi native Brett Favre. Thad Cochran always delivers, just like he did during Katrina. And a super PAC supporting Cochran is spending money courting Democrats allowed to vote in the GOP runoff. You're not a Republican, are you? No, I'm not. Especially African Americans who want to help a Republican, helping them for years. Jackie Brand passed out 5,000 Cochran flyers. Traditionally, African Americans vote a certain party, and uh, Democrat. we Democrat, right? And we wanted to raise the awareness to African Americans that we do have a stake in this runoff election. McDaniel argues Cochran reaching out to Democrats will fire up conservatives against him even more. If Senator Cochran is going to court liberal Democrats to save his seat, it is a clear indication that he has abandoned conservatives in the state of Mississippi. I just talked to Chris McDaniel who said that the fact that you're courting African American Democrats or Democrats in general is proof that you're a liberal, you're not a conservative. <laughs> is that right? Well, you know, my responsibility as a United States Senator has been to represent the people of the state of Mississippi, not just one party or one race.